what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're returning of course welcome back my name is Zoe and I am a personal trainer and online coach I have tons of ebook programs that are very successful I've helped over a hundred thousand women across the world so if you're interested in that I will go ahead and link that below but for today's video on the YouTube channel I have a leg and booty workout as you know legs and butt is my favorite to train so I'm doing that right now I train legs two to three times a week Usually more so two times, but if I'm not as sore, then it's gonna be three times a week. Uh, so yeah, I don't want to blabber on. I don't have much else to say. Um, I started off with 10 minutes on the Stairmaster. I just did that. Then I'm gonna do my glute activation exercises and a little bit of warm up. I will link the video up here. I need to figure out what corner it is. I think it's this corner. <laughs> um, of my, I filmed my entire leg day warm up. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested in what exactly I do. And of course my glute activation guide will be linked below in the description box as well. Basically glute activation will help fire those glutes up before you actually start your workout so that you get more bang for your buck during actual workout and those glutes will be firing the entire time rather than just working your quads or your hamstrings. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. I really appreciate the support. Also don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Make sure that your bell icon is clicked on so that you're notified every time I post a new video. I've been aiming for three times weekly uploads. So hope you guys are enjoying the content that I've been putting out. And last but not least, please don't forget to follow me on my other social media channels, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Come say hi. And yeah, I gotta start this workout because I'm kind of in a time crunch today. So without further ado, let's go do the booty workout. Enjoy guys, bye. Hey guys, so we're going to start off this workout by doing some squats. Now we're going to be doing three quarter squats. Um, this first set is not gonna be the three quarter squats because I'm just warming up with the barbell. Um, I always warm up with the barbell. I just feel like it opens your hips up a lot. Um, just really gets the blood flowing and I highly recommend it. Obviously, as I said before, I did my entire warm up routine before this. So basically with the three fourth squat, I started with 25 pounds on each side of the barbell. So that's 95 pounds plus the barbell. Use whatever weight is best for you. So you see how I'm not going up all the way. You're just going up three fourths of the way and then going back down. Um, so we're going to do eight to 10 reps of the three fourth squat and then we're going to go into regular squats. So we're gonna finish off with five regular squats. Um, really what this does is it increases your time under tension. So you're getting more of a quad pump, more of a glute pump. Um, because you are under the weight for a lot longer basically that is why I do them um, I have been wanting to bring my quads out a lot more recently because I feel like they shrunk a lot during my fat loss phase so obviously in my booty I'm working on that as well always um, and I just love this I feel like it burns so awesomely and awesomely I don't know if that's a word but that's how I feel about these <laughs> um, so try it out let me know how you guys like it. it's just a different variation um, for you to change up your squats with All right, for this next superset, we're going to be doing elevated. Well, basically we're elevated because I'm using a kettlebell. If you're not using, I'm actually using a dumbbell, I'm sorry. Um, if you're not going to be using that and you're just using a barbell, you can just do this on the floor, obviously. But since my hamstrings are super stretchy, I like this and it gets more of a stretch. But basically we're doing an RDL into a sumo squat. Um, what I want you guys to focus on with this is pushing those knees out towards your pinky toes, keeping those knees slightly bent, and keeping that back straight. And then we're going to superset that with, so you're going to do these two exercises back to back. These are going to be elevated lunges. Now for this, I'm just up on a little bit of a ledge. Um, we use whatever is best for you and your comfort level. And we're going to be doing 8 to 10 reps on each side. I want you to focus on pushing through with that heel, keeping the back straight, and just really... Um, concentrating when you're doing this to make sure you get the full effect. I want you to concentrate on thinking about your butt getting worked, thinking about those quads and hams getting worked, and this should burn a lot. Alright, 
Okay guys, for this next superset, we're gonna first start off on the leg extension machine. You're gonna be doing 15 to 20 reps on this, so it is gonna be higher volume. So if you do need to reduce your weight, that is more than okay. I'd rather you guys get the reps in than trying to go super heavy on these. Um, when you do set this machine up, make sure that your knee is in conjunction with that joint on the side there. Um, that's how you're gonna get the best bang for your buck on that machine. And then we're going to move straight into wall sits for 30 seconds to one minute. Again, your quads are going to be burning. This is more of a quad focused workout, I would say. I do have a plate of uh, above my head. If you want to just use body weight, that's still just equally as challenging. Um, go ahead and try that out. You can also lay the plate on your lap if you'd like. Just adds more tension on those quads. And that is going to be that superset. Again, guys, the entire workout is going to be listed below in the description box for you guys to so just screenshot and take to the gym with you. All right, guys, for this last and final superset, we are going to be doing duck walks um, or waddles. I, I call them a variety of things. But basically, you're just going to be in that static squat position for the entire time, taking those little tiny wide steps. I do have a weighted um, plate in my hand. You can also use just body weight if you prefer. And then we're going to finish off with a complex. We're going to be doing walking lunges. This is just with body weight and then some jumping and squats as well. It's kind of just make up your own. It just burns a lot, um, and I just like to get that extra burn in at the end of the workout and just burn everything out since this is the last superset. All right, guys, that's gonna finish off this video. I hope you guys liked it. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.